we just touched and we want to go through it's at 445 so we're going to be 445 the uh, 145 will be 300 This is like aligning your part without really dialing it in. You know the table groove and everything else uh, for what we're putting in here. in it all right now now we can go in same height 445 yeah 445 is touching okay put this oil passage that's supposed to be in here and see 35 
fifteen thousandths is what it what I'm getting there as far as the uh, depth of that. Now this could be done with an end mill coming in on the side and coming down when this was laying over, but I can't. You know, it's hard to see that way. I have a ball mill or a radius uh, end mill here. Um, actually, a radius end mill because it's not full ball, but it does have a radius at both edges. All right, we set it there at zero, and uh, we're gonna go. Let's go ahead and set it at zero. All right, and then we're gonna crank in 15. There's 15. All right, now. We just barely coming and hitting that oil galley there, and we're coming over. What do we got a link there? We're almost one inch. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. What I marked right there. All right. showing you that there are several different ways to go ahead and put something like this in and basically all it is a little galley for oil to flow all right where are we at uh, okay there's 375 we're in the center now now we can just travel both both directions until we get the length done right oh. all right that one that looks good that way There we go. Okay, we're just putting it in a lathe uh, for a quick sand and polish here. Let's give it some speed here. Ruby shot. Um, it's the rain. It's coming. Okay, here again, we're going to use the vise to go ahead and push these both home and level and square and we're using of course we're not using the boot core vice this time but you know it is a machine's vice all right and that pushes them in and sets them level now we're going to verify the heights okay we measured our bore here and we get like uh eight eight sixty five and we measure over this, and we get like 884. So we're a little bit high, but the reason why we're high is the two original keys that came in here have flats on the bottom where they were adjusted. This is round and I'm, that is round as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kiss off about 20 thousands off the bottom of these. We know we got the right groove length because we've got excess there and there. All right, so we, we pull these back out and we're going to go ahead and put a flat on them. Now this flat here, that is uh, 427. And that's 435. So just slightly, slightly different. So we're going to go ahead and kiss those off a little bit. And uh, you can get them on down there. All right, uh, we 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 massage the underside of these uh, Woodruff keys in here to to fit in where we know that they are fitting in the the part we're gonna be making, and also they fit in this shifting uh, cog right here, and we're in a real nice tight snug fit. All right, so we're set. And we're happy with the shaft there. Now we're going to start manufacturing the cam itself. All right, and this we're just going to massage this a little bit because that's that's held in there and that's that's doing what it's supposed to be doing for the shifter there. And uh, there isn't too much. Uh, maybe just clean up some of the gunk there. 
but we got a real nice fit on that key right there. All right, we're getting ready to machine the blank or the size slug. We got an OD, we got a couple champers, and we got a whip, and uh, that's what we're going to do in turning in the lathe there. Now, this here we mic up and we're getting a little discrepancy. Remember I told you there was some uh, grinding action here? Uh, across the stroke here, we're going to call this the stroke direction. The other side is like just the center stroke there. Um, we got like 1982. All right, now crosswise here, center stroke there, we're getting about. 1985. And we went ahead and, by the way, uh, it, this heavy duty grease and everything else that I find on all these components here, it almost it almost smells like cosmoline, like somebody sealed this, these machines up. If, uh, if you got this cosmoline on your machines when you get it, you want to uh, you want to wash it off. It, uh, it is too thick to run as grease or even think it is grease and it's basically only applied so that no rust will develop in the worst uh, climates uh, moisture and all of that stuff and you can store your machines right outside with that stuff on there and you'd have no problem alright back to our measuring here that's it just, <laughs> just what that reminds me of ok back, come on back to measuring alright we're just checking, we want to check it lengthwise and crosswise because basically we know that this thing is pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling and we know that the, the wear is going to be uh, top and bottom of the stroke and uh, anyway we got uh, 1 inch 9 87 and a half almost almost 88 in fact I call that uh, 1 inch 988 that way and then across here in the center we're calling that 1 inch 987 so we have anywhere from two to three thousandths play uh, in this so, <clears throat> and it, it's so there's only an eight uh, thousands eight shape that we get in here and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and flip it over we're gonna check on this side as well here um, the the surface condition looks pretty good uh, just maybe some uh, scotch bright pad and we'll, we'll polish that up we'll get the, uh, the the sticky grease off of here so we got a good feel Okay, so on, on this piece here, basically we got 1 inch 988, uh, 1 inch 987. This mics out to be uh, 1 inch 985 to 1 inch 980. What was it up and down here? 83. Okay, so we had, there's a 5 thousands play up and down on the top of the stroke, and we're. Um, we're at least uh, a couple uh, a couple thousand side to side. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this new cam or crank uh, journal uh, eccentric. Uh, we're going to we're going to make it to minimize the clearance in here so we can tighten this thing up on its stroke as well while we have it here and this with only only one thousandths uh, egg shape I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother I am gonna clean it up and I'm gonna scotch bite it I'm gonna verify that that's all it is before we get going here uh, but we want we needed a diameter because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn chamfer face off and have this blank made and that's what we're up to right now <laughs> 